What's up, you homies? It is your homegirl, Natalie, and today I will be telling you where to buy and where I buy cheap, trendy designer and thrifted clothing here in Korea. In terms of shopping, there's three places that come to mind, Hongdae, Iwa, and Myeongdong. But I'm here to tell you, those are not the only places you can go shopping and find like cheap, unique pieces, okay? That is not. That is fake news! So I will be taking you around to some of my favorite places in the city where I buy my clothing. And then we're gonna come back here where I'm gonna be telling you a little bit more about online shopping and some Instagram hacks so that you can find the best deal on some clothing items. But before we do that, I just wanted to talk about some other things. So there's a term when you're shopping here that's always gonna come up and some people might not know what that is. And that actually is free size. Free size doesn't necessarily mean a size zero. It's a general size for the general Korean population. The average body, the typical Korean girl, the typical Korean boy. I'm a size, I would say like maybe a size eight US dress size. And I could sometimes fit into them when it comes to tops and when it comes to bottoms. That's when I'm not that much. But these places that I'll be taking you today, I'm hoping that it's going to give you a little bit more options. With every place that I'm going to, there is going to be a checklist of four things. Number one, cash or credit which one is preferred in this place number two is bargaining allowed three are you able to try on the clothing and four what sizes do they have so anyways let's go like Kai when he has this hat like this. Oh, it's so cool. Is it recording? Yes. Okay. Why I like to come here is basically for my accessories. So anything from belts, stockings, hats. Here you can find a bunch of different things. You just really have to search. This could take up your whole freaking day, honestly. Onto our checklist that we have, cash or credit. Cash is definitely preferred. If you do use credit, that is still acceptable, but there's normally like a 10% fee and like we ain't trying to get that 10%. So go to the ATM, take out your money so you don't have to spend that extra. Is bargaining allowed? Everything here is actually at wholesale price. So you don't wanna lowball it, you know what I mean? Okay, so in terms of sizing, I normally just buy like accessories, so I don't really have to look at the sizing, but I just did buy some stockings and they were only free size, so sorry about that. Oh, are you able to try on again because I'm only doing accessories, I'm not try on anything except for hats. Hats you're able to try on and the belt, I was able to put that on my waist. Now we're gonna dig around a little bit because I saw some cute socks that I wanted, so let's go. I'm making my own background music. I wanted to do a lookbook and wait, how do you wear this? Okay, I'm walking away. Wholesale prices. Stockings for $5 holla, which is pretty good because normally in the express bus terminal, you could find like stockings, but they're like 15 bucks. This scarf is only three bucks, which is pretty freaking good. The owner laughed at me. Popeye. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Popeye. 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 From the Pyeonghwa shopping plaza, we're gonna head over to Dongmyo. It's just a 13 minute walk, even though it is kind of cold out, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're at Dongmyo and this is from exit 3. 
all this stuff over here is just secondhand thrifted items. You really just gotta dig through a lot of things. Definitely, definitely have to have cash because the clothing is just out on the street. In terms of bargaining, bargaining is allowed here. We might have to try that out. In terms of sizing, because there are secondhand items, I think sizing probably all like range from a bunch of different. Bruh, he's sizes. really trying to. So many people in front of us right yeah, now. Yeah, legit. Are you able to try on? Probably not. Those are just out in the street. I'm guessing a jacket. You want to strip? I guess. Jackets, and then yes, of course you could. But other than that, I don't think you would be able to. Yeah. In Korea in general, you can't really, they don't have that many. Yeah, they don't. Rooms, unless it's a department store. Big yeah. Shopping. Mad peeps. All right. Yeah, let's start yeah. shopping. Okay, let's go. So oh many things. Look, for example, pants are five bucks. Five bucks for a flannel. When you come to Dongmyo, this is definitely a full day thing. For real. <laughs> like, because you have to like rummage through all of these things. You just really got to get your hands dirty, get up in there, and I'm sure you could find a gem. Yo, just found this jacket out in the streets. Oh <laughs> Look how cool! It's so warm and fuzzy! Let's see how much it is though. It might be like 40 bucks or something. Everything here is a buck. So we found a cute sweater for a dollar. Silky little scarf. It's that cold. I thought those were socks. I see something colorful down there. The gems you can find. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> oh my god, UV40! <laughs> we finished up at Dongmyo, now we're gonna actually take a, a little snack break. We're gonna head over to some of the Vin Prime locations and then on to this other store in Gongdok called Vintory. Let's go! Yay! Okay, so now we are at Vintory, which is a shop that just opened in Gongdok about two weeks ago. Probably one of my favorite shops now because I got a lot of really cool stuff here. In terms of cash and credit, both of them are fine. Is bargaining allowed? Totally not because this is a regular store. Sizes, um, because there are thrifted items, there's a bunch of different sizes, so I think you're pretty much okay. And can you try things on? You can, which is really great because you know in Korea that's not something that you could easily find. This shop is quite small, but I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out because I found some really nice pieces a lot time so let's go do i need more jeans in my life probably not will i still look at these definitely i tried these on last time thinking it was gonna fit me they didn't that's why they're still here oh look at these yes feeling like um, pew hefner this is a really nice blazer 20 bucks not bad the prices here are pretty reasonable because the items here are a little bit more curated than like Dongmyo for example. The dresses are 10 to 20 and pants are from 7 to 20. This one's 15 but I just bought two blazers from here last time. <laughs> you like my new hat? <laughs> this blazer looks so cool but I already bought so many. We are here at Vin Prime and this is actually in the location of Sadang. This is one of my favorite thrifting stores because there's so many freaking locations like everywhere in Seoul, which is really great. Cash and credit, you can use both of them. Bargaining, nope, because it's an actual store. Sizing, there's a bunch of different sizes, which is great. And can you try it on? Yes, you can. Thank freaking God. The prices here, it's not necessarily like your regular thrift stores. It's a little bit more upscale for people, especially like Americans that are used to like Goodwill and Salvation Army. We're not going to find those prices. Mm -hmm. The prices that we're going to find here maybe at lowest five if you're lucky three five would be at lowest lowest normally it would maybe be like seven or nine for regular items like a shirt or like a sweater all right on to shopping 
so we're gonna try on this dress. I think maybe I could make it work. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Freddy Krueger. Barney aesthetic. Oh, this is cute. If I was small enough, I would wear this. Okay. But we did our compritas for the day. Now that we've done our shopping in the outside places of the world, I know some of you might be thinking like, hey, what about those trendy and cheap items that we're talking about? This is mostly more like thrifted. Yes, you're right. Most of these were thrifted. Where I do my shopping for like trendy and cheap items is online. On G Market is where you could honestly find really, really great deals. On top of that, I'm from the States, so if I bought something online, it normally would take like, say, like five days to get to me. But Korea is a small country, which means their postal service is really, really, really quick. It normally comes within three days, if not sooner. I know, that is crazy pants. So now we're going to go on to G Market, and I'm just going to show you how to work it and some shops that you can follow that I follow. Welcome to this little corner of my house. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go on to G Market. So once you go ahead and make your account, just click on the English site and that will take you to the global G Market. And honestly on G Market you can find anything and everything on there, but for today we're just going to focus on clothing. The first thing that I like to do is look at the main page. I have these super deal things, so I just click on fashion and it just shows me what are the deals of the week. See like this, winter new arrivals from $5.90. Another place where I like to find some sales is actually on the best sellers part of the page. Look, this is $7.90. We're about that life. This is actually one of the shops that I like to buy from, the daily shop. Look at these prices, $5.90, $5.90. You could actually just type in the search bar over here something like dress you don't have to be worried that you can't write in Korean these prices are bomb this is what I like oh I do like this site too and the good thing is that they state all like the measurements so you just take you know your favorite shirt and see if those things add up to give you an example oh this crushed velvet oh my god for 15 bucks Let's look at it. Oh, that is really, really cute. Imagine that with like a belt or something. Okay, getting off topic, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. And what I also love when looking on online shops like this is that they just have so many pictures of the items. You know, I really get a feel for how this thing looks like. Here, example, the, the sizing is free when you see that that's when you go down to the measurements. They tell you so much detail and luckily everything is translated in English. If I wanted to buy this dress, I actually do want to buy it. We would go over here, select option. We have this number, number nine, but we also need to look at this number. Nine, see a 47, nice. <gasps> what color? The black one. Ooh, that sky blue one looks cute. For this example, we're gonna click buy now. Here you would have your address. If you're staying at an Airbnb or a hostel, you could just go ahead and ask the host and they can give you that information to help you out. If you're staying at a hostel, it might be even a little bit better if there's someone there to pick it up rather than an Airbnb where they might just put it in front of your house. I honestly feel like when it comes to like my package being left outside my house, I wouldn't think anyone would go ahead and steal it. You're able to pay PayPal or credit or debit card. So you don't even need a Korean bank card. Again, I will put the shops that I like to buy from in the description box. Remember when I was telling you about the shipping in Korea? So let's say you might be a little bit pressed for time and you're like, dang, I told myself I was going to order this on Monday, it's now Tuesday, I missed a day, and you might be freaking out. Don't freak out just yet. A thing that I like to do is go down to here, the seller info, and it'll tell you where it is exactly. What I would do is I would just type that into Google and see distance from that place to where like my hostel or Airbnb is. If it's in like the same part of the city or really close to it, then honestly, you will be good to go. This is another trip hack that I like to do when I'm shopping. For me, I like love, love, love online shopping. That is just my jam. I can spend hours and hours on it. I know for some other people, they might be like, I have really bad luck with online shopping, but I feel like G Market, every clothing item and every piece that they have, they have so much information on it. If you use that information, you're pretty much safe. Also, if you have a really packed schedule or you know that you're traveling with someone that really wants to go and look at the cultural sites, maybe not really that into shopping, you could be like, well, I'm still gonna do my shopping and you could just get that delivered to your door. You didn't even have to leave your house for that and you have more time to do some other things. I know the shops and places that I went to, it's specifically for Seoul. However, G Market is for every other place in Korea, which is great. So in 
terms of sizing, it really just depends on the shop. Some shops will say like four plus size or you know plus size items available. Other shops are mostly just like free size or they'll have like a small and a medium. But all the information is going to be placed on each individual item. All you have to do is just do a little bit of research and I think you'll be able to find something for you. And the last thing I want to show you is how to find designer clothing on the cheap, cheap, cheap. I don't know if you guys saw my sample sale vlog that I posted up earlier this month. I got some pretty, pretty awesome stuff and I will show you how I find them. So for sample sales, I definitely use Instagram a lot. Step number one is to follow Korean designers that you like and you love and hopefully when you are here in Korea, they are having a sample sale. So they will post these things. Lee Madonna just had a sample sale earlier this month. I know right now Ordinary People is having one. Oh my god, and I'm not there because I'm here. <laughs> Come to like the sample sales, like I want to make sure if it's like a 20% off sample sale, I'm like, I'm not gonna go to that. Like a 60% off, I'm like, okay, you're catching my interest. And up to 90%, oh man, why am I not there? That that's really sad. <laughs> Hack number two or tip number two, I'm going to give you two uh, hashtags that I like to follow. The first one is family sale. Oh wow, in Chinsa they were having a sample sale. And the next one is sample sale. And you just click on recent and just go ahead and scroll down. This one's a really good sample sale. I want chunky shoes. What? And that's really it when it comes to finding designer clothing on the cheap. I hope you use these tips and tricks if you're traveling to Korea or if you live here and maybe you've been like, hey, I've been wanting to spruce up my wardrobe and I just don't know where to do it. I know that a lot of people always go to the same places. No, there's so much other potential here to find some really awesome pieces. I'm trying to broaden your options when it comes to clothing. Everything that I talked about today will be in the description box. Please check that out. I will catch you guys in the next one. I hope this video finds you all. I hope you're having an awesome sauce day. Be safe. Bye, and uh, safe travels. Have a safe flight. See you here. Bye. <laughs>